Hello, Miss Heidi. How are you today? Good evening, Miss. Uh, how was your day? Ah, uh, it was a great. A lot of work, a lot of activities, but it was very productive. It was nice, and vacations are coming. So that's uh, you know. <laughs> Thanks inspiring, God. <laughs> inspiring, yes. Yeah. Okay. But you work next week, right? I will work until Wednesday noon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you get back on the 5th or, or? On Monday. April? Monday 5th. Oh, Monday, the 5th. Monday, April 5th. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how was your day? Tell me. How was your day? I was very nervous because uh, some of, of some of my loans are on analysis. Really? And I'm expecting them to be approved, so. So I'm still waiting. I don't know if I'm going to, to get my goals. I don't know yet. Let's be positive. So I'm very nervous. Yeah, let's be positive. <laughs> yeah, okay. let's be positive. Okay, Andres wrote that he is in his way home. So let's expect the others to join. Okay. I'm going to write. Because only today and tomorrow. And tell me, have you been working in the platform? Yes. Have yes, you I been working? Yeah. I did everything. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Only the test. You are only? missing only the evaluation, only the final test. I I did it about. You did it already. About three days ago. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh wow, miss. <laughs> yeah, it's better. So you feel you know I more relaxed. Really yeah. <laughs> Yeah, more yeah, relaxed. These yeah. days are very really heavy for me, so. Yeah. Okay, congratulations then. Thank you. Yeah, and the attendance and tomorrow, the, the last day, okay? Did okay. you check your mail to, to see if you have already received the, 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 survey? the survey? Yeah. Yeah, I did it too. Did you take a picture of it? I told you, I told you when it says it has been sent. Okay. That's why I told you that we were going to do it in class. Because I need that, that screenshot. Hello, Veronica. Good morning. Wendy. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Welcome and Good thank evening. you for joining the class. Okay. So it is, uh, it is, ah, Wendy, you look better now. Yeah. And I was, and, and I was checking yeah. the chat. So you, your migraine went away. <laughs> it flew. Yeah. We're glad that you are better. Yeah. Okay. Today I, I feel better. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks. Okay, we're glad for that. Miss Melissa, hello, how are you? Hi, good evening, fine. Okay, what about your neck? Is it better? Much better, yes, okay. much better. I'm not yeah. using the the, 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 the the color, the neck color. Yeah, I'm not using it. So Anymore, it so it means that you are. Okay, great. Yeah. We're happy for you, okay? And Miss Ana Claudia, we don't have Hello. to ask her because she's always, you know, achieving mm -hmm. her goals at work, so she's happy. The smile from <laughs> yes, here I am. to here, yeah? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. I will get my mini uh, Holy Week uh, vacation because I took like a personal day tomorrow and Monday, so I will get in like, like a long weekend. Okay, but it is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four and Monday. days. Almost a week, yes. Exactly, it's because I, I'm going to work all the Holy Week, so for that reason, I'm uh, taking like my mini vacation. <laughs> okay, but that's great, great because you relax. Okay, oh, I need to sleep. <laughs> everybody, I think everybody, okay. And Veronica, tell us, how was your day? 
and I it was fine. Hmm. More or uh, less. I'm great. Relax, relax. <laughs> okay. My my day is for relax. Okay. And at work, De everything lo, nice. Okay, tengo. <laughs> okay. Just a few relaxing days, but this day today was one of those, yeah? This was one of your relaxing days. Okay. So uh, it is the time I'm going to, maybe the other ones are going to join later on because of the traffic and some others were writing in the, in the chat that they are in their way home, okay? Ada Azucena is in a surgery. She wrote that if it is possible, she's going to join us, okay? Ana Claudia? Here, teacher. Okay. Andres, he wrote that it, he was in his way. Uh, Andres Alberto, Cesar Humberto, Fatima, not yet. Francis, no, not yet. Fredis, it's rare that Fredis is not here, maybe later on. Uh, Heidi, Heidi. Here, Miss. Okay, great. Heidi is here. Hugo, not yet, maybe later on. Karen, she always joins a little bit late, right? Liliana, Miss Liliana, here, Present. always. Lorena, not yet. Maria Milagros, not here. Mauricio, not. Uh, Freddy, this is here, I told you. It was like rear not to have him early because he has been always here. So uh, Mauricio is not here. Patricia, not here. Hello. Caroline, not yet. Veronica, yes. Okay, Veronica. Veronica, say hi. I, I, I'm here. Okay, great. Wendy. He, teacher. Sochi, not here, and Yolanda later on, okay? So let's begin. Let's get started. Hi, I'm if you, teacher. hello, Freddy's. Freddy's, I have a question for you. Tell me, teacher. Okay. What would you do if you win the lottery? What would you do if you win the lottery? Ah, okay. Uh, if I win the lottery, I, if yeah, I win, I, the, I, listen, listen, I, listen, Fredis. If I win the lottery, I would, or if I win the lottery, I would like to pay all of my good, good. debts, debts, all my debts, mm -hmm. and per, and share my money with my family and my friends. Also, okay, I'm your friend. friend. <laughs> Please don't forget I, I, us, okay? I, last time I did. Don't I, forget I me, Freddy. Forget me not. Forget I, me I, not. I will not. I will not. I will not forget oh. for you. <laughs> okay, great. Yolanda, good evening. Welcome. Okay, I was asking that question uh, to Freddy because that is the topic we are going to be working with tonight. Okay, zero conditional. Cause and effect in simple present tense. That's going to be the highlights, the objective for today. So, hello, Yolanda, here we go. I'm going to start presenting my screen to you, okay? And here we go. Okay. So, let's see. In the agenda, we have sharing the agenda as every day, the objective, feedback, warm up, how to use zero conditional and the wrap up of the class. So I'm going to ask Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Now that you are better, please help us reading this slide. Okay, teacher. General objective. She will, I, I don't see teacher is very little. Uh, ah, you are in the phone. Yeah. Okay. Students will develop. No, but eh, no, you know, mm -hmm. eh, 
Will the we will develop com competencies that will allow then the screen history of the product. The screen processes about selling in the world, yeah. Yeah. or buying online. Now, customer opinion toward products they sell and, and have conversation with others about financial activities, class okay. objectives. Participants will be able to use zero conditionals. Very well. Okay. So now I'm going to ask uh, someone else, probably Veronica or Yolanda. I don't know who wants to help us with the feedback to review what we did yesterday. Do you remember something? Any of the activities, the topic that we practiced yesterday? Who wants to share something? Hello. Only one student, I don't know. Anyone? I remember. I remember. Yes, no. miss. Yes, continue. I remember um, uh, use the room. Ah, very well. We were working with mm -hmm. the different uses of gerunds. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, great. And do you remember some of the verbs that we studied in class, but in the gerund forms? It is for the class, okay? Who remembers some of the verbs in accounting that we were using in class? I remember, teacher, we study about the verbs um, using ing as subject after some verbs and after preposition. And then um, we study the verb like as, give, pay, having, providing, getting, hire, selling. Okay, great. That is, in a few words, what we were working with, right? And you were practicing some conversations, right? And discussing a lot. Okay, now here in this short uh, warm up, I'm going to ask you to work in a small groups and complete the sentences on the other slide, but I need you to use your creativity, your imagination and volunteer to share later with the class. And here, as I, uh, with a question, Freddy's at the beginning, okay? This is not in the book because it is extra. Sentences for the warming up activity. For example, if I have a problem, ooh, I talk to a friend, yes? If I have a problem, I talk to a friend. Or I talk to a friend if I have a problem. We can, we can switch the order of the sentences, right? Okay, now your choices are, if I have a problem, what do you do? If I wake up late, okay, what happens? If you mix electricity and water, what happens, people? If you mix electricity and water, okay? If you smoke, what happens? What is the consequence? If you do not use hand sanitizers, what would happen? What happens if you don't use the hand sanitizer? Uh-huh. If you don't wear a face mask when you are out of your house, uh-huh. What is the consequence? Please use the simple present tense in both cases, similar to the example that I have provided you with. If I have a problem, I talk to a friend, yes? Or I talk to a friend if I have a problem, but since I have given you all the beginning of the sentences with if you have to continue like this, okay? So are you going to write the, the, the exercises or uh, are you going to take a screenshot? Tell me and when you feel that you are ready, we're going to go to work in the breakout rooms, okay? As soon as you are ready, please tell me. 
go to a friend if I have a problem. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we need to make them in both ways, right? No, only in one, but I, ah, okay. no, no. When I say, if I have a problem, this is present tense, yeah? Have mm -hmm. a problem. Mm -hmm. And then talk to a friend. I talk to a friend. So mm -hmm. in the two sentences, two in one, I use the present tense, okay? Uh -huh. We need to make sure about that. That's it. Ah, okay, okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, because I was looking the other part. I talked to a friend. If no, no, yeah. Okay. You can say it like that, but since I have given you the first part with if, you only add the rest because later on we're going to have more practice ah, with this okay. structure because this is the introduction to the topic. Okay. 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 Okay, tell me when you are ready to go to work in the breakout rooms. Okay, Ana Claudia is ready. Yes, I am. Okay, thanks. Me too, I'm ready. Okay, thank you, Meli. Wells. I'm ready. Thank you, Freddy. I'm ready to. Thank you, Heidi. Veronica almost. No. Great. Yolanda almost. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Shall we? Yes. Remember yes. to use your imagination and creativity, right? So I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And, ah, hello, Lorena, welcome. Fatima, welcome. Thank you for joining the class, okay? So we're going to start with the breakout rooms. I'm going to create, so far, three groups, okay? Great. Mm. In this moment, I'm going to uh, open the breakout room. So if you are in a cell phone or tablet, uh, be attentive. Ah, Caroline, hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were missing you yesterday. Okay, listen, <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to. Okay, I because I'm going to tell you uh, later, 
Caroline, in which group you are going to work, okay? Ah, thank because, you. Because uh, your name is not here, according to. Okay, right now I'm going to open all the rooms. Here we go. I'm gonna send a message. Go to your groups, okay? Go to your groups. Please, let me see. No, Caroline is already in group number two. Okay. Caroline. Hey, D. Go to group number two. <laughs> okay. I thought that. Uh, <laughs> If wake up late, wake up late. Uh huh. What happening in this? I if you wake up late. In my case, I will uh, I call at my boss. I call my boss. If I call I my boss. Late, I call my boss. Okay. Okay. In my case, okay. if I wake wake up late, um, uh -huh. if I wake up late, if I wake up late, I will be late for work. Vamos a ponerle de las dos maneras ahorita, o ahorita solo vamos a terminarlas. No, no, it is only to finish it, but remember that what I ask you is to uh, use simple present tense in the first part and the second part. For example, if you say, if I wake up late, I am? I'm, I'm going to be or, late for work. Yeah, or I call my boss or I take a taxi. Use your imagination, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. but remember to use the present tense in both situations, okay? Cause okay. and effect. Okay. Okay. If you mix electricity and water. But that is, that is good, the one that you say that tell uh -huh. to somebody that I'm going to be late. So if I wake up late, uh -huh. I will call to, to my office or my boss or something oh, like yeah. that. Something like that. If so I, we can... Mm -hmm. If I have a meeting, I have a... Uh, I say, no, I, know, I don't know how to say compromiso. Uh, no, meetings. Meetings. Uh -huh. If I have a meeting... Perdón, teacher. Continue, continue. <laughs> <laughs> if I wake up, so right, if I wake up late, uh, uh -huh. I call to my office or I call to my boss. So, ¿qué le ponemos? I call because uh -huh. we need to continue in present. Uh, I, can, I can call to my boss. No, I, I call, call my boss. Because in present tense, boss. Yes. I call mm -hmm. to my boss. No, I call my boss. My boss. I call my okay. Boss. So we have one, if I wake up late, I call my boss. And the second mm -hmm. one, the, the third one, if you mix electricity and water, <laughs> I... it, it, it is be explosion. <laughs> but in present, but in present, how can we say? I, it, uh, I, but in present, uh, if you mix electricity and water. It's a bad idea. <laughs> it depends because I, 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 I create a, a disaster. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I create a disaster. I we can use a... that answer. I create a disaster. <laughs> yes, obviously. Okay. So, I guess your that... imagination. Okay, so I think we can die. You if die. you mix electricity and water, I die. I die. 
I, I can die. No, I die. Because it is in I the present. I die. I die. Only die. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No more, Melissa. No. Only just that. that. Die. <laughs> You have something different in the number three, uh, Yolanda? No, it's the same. Um, um, if you mix electricity <laughs> water, you can die. Have you puesto you? Pero es I die. Yes. Okay. Or, or sorry, sorry. Because uh, read it again, Yolanda. If you, it is if not you, if I. If you, uh -huh. if you. So, so you die. You die. You can die. No, you die. You, you die. die. Okay. You die. Electro cute. <laughs> you electro cute yourself and die. You electro cute yourself and die. Okay. ¿Cómo era la otra pregunta? Yourself. If you smoke, Caroline, if you smoke. No, todavía no he terminado. If you smoke. Smoke, no, no smoke. No, <laughs> imagine that, imagine <laughs> what happens. Uh, what happened? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think you know, thank you. Uh, no, 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 if no. you smoke. <laughs> You get sick. Uh -huh. um, you, are you, get sick? you get lung cancer. You what? You what? You get lung, lung cancer. cancer. Mm-hmm. L-U-N-A-L-U-N-G. Lung cancer. Lung cancer, right? Mm-hmm. I'm okay. Give it. Yes. Ready. Answer. Al Jiris us Ladingen cancer. Así sería. ¿Cómo? I give it. I get. I get. I get. I get as a laryngeal cancer. Así sería. Larynx, it could be larynx it cancer. Could be it could be also, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, Another disease. I get. No. Son mm -hmm. sentences I can find in my mind. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. After eh, the virus. Uh -huh. You exposed to the virus. virus. Exposed. Ese es el, uh -huh. el, el, el verbo. Y number five, if you don't wear a face mask when you are out of your house. <laughs> it's almost the same, but let me you get COVID. Because <laughs> get sick, ya lo usamos. I get sick. If you don't wear a face mask when you are out of your house. Um, okay. If, uh, if uh, I don't use a face mask, uh, um, miren, estoy pensando una cosa. ¿Por qué no le ponemos el, el get sick que tenemos en el test? Here, if you don't wear a face mask, mask when you are out of your house, you get sick. Y, en, y entre, en la esa, if you smoke, you lose money. Y if you smoke, uh, you're so far from respi respiratory the Diases, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Pero... Disease. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, the next one. If you do not use hand sanitizer, you can seek 
two coronavirus. <laughs> you can get COVID. You get you get you, COVID. You get you, you get, get you get COVID. You get COVID. COVID. Okay. <laughs> the yeah, new coronavirus. The new COVID mm -hmm. coronavirus. Coronavirus. Yes, Yolanda. Chef, why uh, we can we cannot use in these cases? Um, can can can. Uh -huh. Because can is a modal auxiliary, and I am asking you to use the simple present tense. And you say you get sick, mm -hmm. you get infected. Yeah. Okay. Teacher, is is this is the answer short answer? Is the same the short answer? For for example, what do you mean? Uh, and because. Uh, in my case, I write, you can see two coronavirus. And the simple person is, you get COVID. Is it como que fuera una respuesta más corta? No. no. Uh, the, sa the same answer, but in different, in different ways, yeah? You get sick, that's okay. You get coronavirus, that's okay. The only thing is that I, I am asking you not to use the word can because that is a modal auxiliary yeah okay okay are you ready okay. girls yes no not no. yet no. I come no. on. <laughs> just just one more and, and we're one ready. more minute okay one more yeah. minute yeah okay so for the last one if you don't wear face mask when you're out of your house um, you Mm -hmm. okay. We're ready, Miss. Okay, here we go because in the other groups they ask me for more one more minute. But we're going to get started because they were in the last one. So here we go. Let's get back to the main session. Hello, Karen. Thank you for joining the groups. Good evening, Karen. Uh, okay, we're going to wait for the other team. Okay. Ana Claudia's team. Okay. <laughs> and she's the first appearing in, in the main session room. Okay, here we go. Now, I would like to have some, uh, some representatives from each team, and then you share your sentences with the class, okay? Let's begin okay. with team number one. Team number one, do you remember? Me, teacher. Okay, please. Okay, <clears throat> if, I walk, if I wake up late, I lost my bus. If you miss electricity and water, you die. If you smoke, you lung disease. If you don't, if you don't use hand sanitizer, you get coronavirus. If you don't wear a face mask when you are out of your house, you get sick. Thank you, great. There is only one thing to point out. I miss the bus, okay? I miss the bus, that is the expression. I miss the bus, you miss the bus, you don't lose it. You miss the bus, okay? Thank you, very well. Now, team number two. I'm gonna check. Team number two, Caroline, Heidi, and Lorena. Who's going to be presenting? Okay, okay Heidi. Okay. 
uh, if I have a problem, I pray. If I wake up late, I miss the bus. If you mix electricity and water, you electrocute yourself and die. If you smoke, you get lung cancer. If you don't use hand sanitizer, you get coronavirus. If you don't wear a face mask when you are out of your house, you get infected with different viruses. Great, thank you very much. Good, and now team number three. Obviously the other students, right? In the team where Miss Ana Claudia and I think Hugo were, right? And the other partners. So who is going to be presenting? Freddy. <laughs> Okay, Freddy, go ahead. Okay, thank you. I just say, Hugo, that's me, Freddy. <laughs> no, I was about to, to mention that we didn't realize Hugo was there. <laughs> no, it's Sorry. Yeah, Freddy. <laughs> no, but Hugo was there, the, the, the teacher said. Yes. And we didn't. Uh -huh. Okay, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, well, Freddy, please. Uh, if I wake up late, I call my bus. If I mix electricity and water, I create a destroyer. If, a destruction, a destruction. Uh, de destruction, destruction. If uh, you smoke, I get sick and burn my money. If you don't use the hand sanitizer, I expose it to the virus. If you don't wear a face mask when you are out of your house, please keep distance and don't talk closer people. Okay, there is only one thing. When we have, if you, you continue the second part with you, okay? But if you say, if I win the lottery, I share it with my family, yes? If you win the lottery, you share it with your family to have, you know, the same subject, yeah? Because it is cause and effect. Something happens and then we're going to have a consequence. Okay, thank you very much for your participation, people. And now I'm going to ask you to work in your manual, the student's manual here. You are going to discuss with the classmates what you know about the assets, liabilities, and stockholder equity of your company. Let's read the following balance sheet of a company. Consolidated balance sheet, January 31st, 2017. And then we have here the current assets, total assets, total liabilities, uh, the stockholder's equity, and the total stockholders equity. You have the date and you have the amount of money. Based on the information in this table, you are going to answer the questions, the two questions that you have, okay? How much is the total of assets and liabilities in 2017 for that company? If we are, look at the sentence, if we are uh -huh, 867 million dollars and 2,584 million dollar, the result is, okay? So you analyze this and you answer the two questions in small groups. Questions, that is at page 43 in your manual, okay? Questions about the activity? I think that the, the mass, uh, the addition is going to be the problem. Question number two, yes? <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's go over that. Uh, Karen. Goes no me aparece para ningún grupo. Because I am going to assign you, Karen. Karen, you go okay. to team number two, okay? You go to group number two. I'm going to send you a message. Did you receive the message? Karen? Oh, 
Okay. Dejame lo puedo. Ay. Ay. How much is total as a uh, living room is twenty seven? Total de activos es total de liabilities. Tenemos que sumar. Tenemos que sumar. Ah, liabilities son pasivos. Pasivos. Tenemos que sumar ocho ocho millones cuatrocientos ocho mil son. Ocho mil. ¿Dónde está viendo? No. ¿Dónde está viendo? Ah, no, no, no. Aquí no. le preguntan de 2017 y este no tiene la suma, hay que sumarlo. That's it. That is what I told you. That was going to be the most difficult thing. The addition, no. I told you. And read mm -hmm. the, the amounts of money in English. The idea is that you practice those amounts of money in English, okay? Okay. That is okay. the purpose. It is not, uh, you know, Accounting, it is that you practice the words that you practice, uh, the reading, the amounts of money. Teacher, pero no puedo decir todos estos números en inglés. Why not? Son millones. Practice, yeah. So you say 2,000 million. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or 200 million. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it, it shows let's sum we need to summarize all of them. Uh -huh. I did, but this is long, long, long number. Uh -huh. we we read it. We have to add them. We have to make okay. the addition, the addition. We have to make the addition, okay. <laughs> and the idea is to practice the amount of money, yeah, the quantities. <laughs> that is the purpose. <laughs> it's not just to, okay, to read you. It's to read the okay. amount, you say. Right? Yeah, to okay. practice reading. In the first, uh, let's see how much is going to be. This is one mission. Six, six, eleven mission. I don't know. No, I, I'm finding uh -huh. eight thousand millions in ninety one thousand dollars. I don't know if I'm reading correct, teacher. No, because a billion, <laughs> ocho billones. Are those no Is millions? It millions or billions? No millions. No, but you have to count. Remember. Millions. Uh, the, 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 the amount the color, of no. yeah yeah. It billion. Billions. Are those billions? No, son millones. No, que billones. <gasps> billions. My God. One, two, three. Billions. Four, five, you say seven. billion and billions. <gasps> billion. But the billions billion. are one, two, three. Are nine. Listen, if if you have uh, six. Six uh, ah, character, so it means million. million. Okay. Yeah. Mm, so it's in this amount, the first, uh, the first uh, amount billion. is eight billions. Billion. Uh -huh. billion. Eight billion. billion. B, uh -huh. Billion. Billion. Zero. Nine, one. Ninety-one million. 91. No, no, I don't 91. know how to read that. Is that a good way to read it? Ninety-one million. Okay, eight billion, <laughs> ninety-one million dollars. That is the way how we, yeah, how we say. That, ah, okay. Way. okay. I can I can read the exactly, but I think it's correct. No, oh, yes, read it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we try, it's like we a try. tongue twister. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, eight billion. <laughs> Uh, 90, 91 billion dollars. 
the yeah, first is the first billions, is billions. Yeah. Million? and the second is millions. Million. Mm. Million. Uh -huh. million. Okay. Dollar. <gasps> Thanks, million. God, we don't have another numbers. Million. The other six zeros. <laughs> <laughs> Aquí es dos millones doscientos cincuenta y nueve mil. No, la, la, la otra persona, quiero ver, Lorena. Lorena, ¿verdad que usted tomó total Hola. current assets y total current uh -huh. viability? Sí. Ha pues si da los dieciséis millones trescientos treinta y seis mil. Ajá. ¿Cómo mucho? ¿Cómo mucho? 16 millones 336 mil. Exacto. Say it in English. Uh, Try to practice the numbers in English. 16 million or 6 million? 16 million. Uh, Twenty-five, twenty-five million, twenty-five thousand, twenty-five million, twenty-one million. Okay, that's all. Una pregunta. Yeah. Ah, verdad es que la teacher solo ha puesto una una discusión en el en en la plataforma. Sí. Yo sí. Solo, solo una encontré. Ah, vale. He trabajado en, en más de una. De veras. He visto más de una. Sí. Pero están como en la segunda semana, primera semana. Ah, sí, es que en la segunda semana son un gran montón. En la segunda semana. Eso sí son casi que. En esa semana, semana solo ha puesto una. En esa semana sí solo uno. Uy, yo no he visto Hello. Are you ready? Are you ready to present uh, your answers? Did you did you get the answers for yes. the two questions? Yes. Oh, yes. obviously, yes. teacher. Oh. Obviously. Okay. So oh. we're going to get that because it is almost nine. What happened with you, teacher? <laughs> but remember that you have to read the, the, the numbers in English. Okay. That is the idea to ah, practice. Really? Yes, we're Peter, going just, to practice just one that. question. These, yes. these quantities are millions or billions? It depends on the result of the addition. Yeah, in some of them you have uh, billions, in some others you have yeah. millions. Yeah, millions. Uh -huh. Okay, so in some. Okay. 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 <laughs> so we're going to share at this moment. Okay, thank you. Okay, here we go. Let's start sharing. And let's see. Okay, so read the following balance sheet of a company. That is what you did. And read the information again to answer the questions and compare with a partner. We're going to compare with the class. Number one, how much is the total of assets and liabilities in 2017? Who has a possible answer? Because 
uh, they are asking for this, okay? The total of assets and the total of liabilities here, two amounts of money. And we have three, six zeros. So it means 1,611,000,000, yeah? So it is a huge company, right? Okay, tell me the, the, the total assets. Okay, eight billion, ninety-one millions. Uh-huh. The rest that's, are zeros. Yeah, that's it. And uh, okay. the total of liabilities, who wants to read according to the to the addition? Fourteen billion three hundred thirty-nine millions. Million dollars. Million, million dollars. dollars. Okay, great. Now, this is the answer for number one, right? And yes. the question, if we add $867 million and $2,584,000,000, the result is? Did you do the addition? 25 million. 25 billion. Yes. 891 million dollars. A lot of money, yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot of money. Imagine. Okay. If you were the owner of that company, just imagine. You say, if I were the owner of that company, okay? So here, now how to use zero conditional, what I told you at the beginning. We have the information for if and when. So I need one of you to help me reading the information in the if box. Who wants to be that volunteer? Me, teacher. Please, Miss Yolanda. Okay, the, the first box. Yeah, about if. Okay, if. What do we do if we have very low assets? If we have low assets, we have to even up prices or we have to even up prices if we have low assets. Okay, thank you very much. Here we have a question. What do we do if we have a very low, very low assets? If we have low assets, we have to even up prices, to up the prices, yeah? Or another possibility to express the same idea is we have to even up prices if we have low assets. Now I need another volunteer to read the information in the when box. Okay. Me, teacher. Please, Karen. Where does your family go if they need a loan? When my family need a loan, they go to the bank. Or my family go, goes to the bank when they need a loan. Very good. Now I want you to focus your eyes in this, okay? Look at this structure. If we have low assets, okay, it is a condition. If this happens, we write a comma, and then you write the rest of the sentence. If we have low assets, comma, we have to even up prices, to even up price, yeah? But you have the opposite because you can switch the order of the sentences. We have two even at prices if we have low assets. What do you notice in here? When no comma. The, no comma when the sentence doesn't begin with if. Only if the sentence, the clause begins with if, you write a comma. What about when? Let's analyze this part. Where does your family go if they need a loan? When my family needs a loan, comma, they go to the bank. Now let's switch the order. My family goes to the bank when they need a loan, no comma, okay? 
when the sentence begins with if or when you write a comma and you write the rest of the sentence. Is that clear? Are we clear on that? I have a on, question, teacher. Yes, yes, Freddy's, please. What was the, the, the better answer for that condition? The, to start with, if we, in the first part, if we have a low set or, or the other one, when, when the other sent the other uh, answer. The, the other alternative. Mm -hmm. Listen, Freddy, both are correct. Both okay. are excellent, both are used. The only thing is that uh, when you switch and you begin with uh, without if, you don't write the comma. Because okay. listen, when we say, if we have low assets, it is an incomplete sentence. Mm -hmm. It is incomplete. It is a dependent sentence because it depends of the other part of the sentence. And you say, we have to even up prices. So if I tell you, if we have low assets, I am waiting for a consequence, yeah? Something that is going to happen due to this situation. But if you say, when we have to even up price, we have to even up prices if we have low assets. It is the opposite. So here, we have to even up prices. That is a complete sentence. It is independent. Mm -hmm. And then you write, if we have low assets. It is in the case that, yes? The same happens with when. Okay, but both sentences are correct. <clears throat> the only thing is that, grammatically talking, if you start a sentence with the zero conditional and begins with if, you write a comma, okay? And that is the practice that you're going to have at this moment. Complete the sentences using the words provided and the correct verb. Do you want to work alone or do you want to try in a small groups to discuss more? Okay, so it means that you wanna try uh, individually. Okay, let's do it and later you tell me, okay? We're going to discuss and we're going to write more examples, yeah? Remember guys to continue working in the platform and the final test, okay? Don't forget it. And don't forget to take a, a capture of the survey in the case that you have already sent it. You have to take a capture of the message and make sure about the information, follow the steps. Okay, <clears throat> you tell me when you are ready, okay?
Ada Azucena, not here yet. Okay. Ana Claudia. Here, teacher. Thank you. Andres Alberto, not today. Cesar Humberto, not here. Fatima. Present. Present. Okay, thank you. Francis, not here. Fredis. Fredis. Present, sure. Thank you. Heidi. Heidi, what happened to Heidi? Hey, what happened to her? She was here. She had problems with the connection. Maybe it's weird. Uh -huh. right? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, because she was here. Um, <laughs> she has always been here every uh -huh. single day. Yes. Karen. Karen. Present. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. And everybody's like, it. where is she? Where did she go? Liliana Melissa. Here. Present. Always, always. Lorena, Loren. Present. Okay, Present. thank you, Loren. Maria Milagro is absent. Mauricio is not here. Patricia Yanet. Caroline. Caroline. Hello. Carolina. Okay. Hi, hi, hi teacher. Teacher Haiti is back. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, so we have uh, Carolina is here and Haiti is back, yeah. Veronica? Veronica? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, hi. Wendy? Hi, teacher. Okay, Present. thank you. So chill, Natia. Yolanda? Here, teacher. Okay, yes. thank you, thank you. Okay, are you ready with the sentences? Teacher. Hugo. Hugo. Did I mention your name? The thing is, you know that Heidi, your name is uh, next to Hades. And we were concerned what happened to her. Okay. So thank you, Hugo. Thank you, Hugo. Great. <laughs> so you see, that's the way it must be. Yeah, I know that you are working. Thank you for being in class, yeah? Okay, you are mixing. Thank you, okay? You are here. I, I, yeah, I registered your name. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you very much, okay? And now, people, let's share the sentences. Here we go. Okay, let's see. What do we have? in here, in number one. Okay, we have six sentences. Who wants to try number one? Hello? I can, I can, uh, what okay, I Okay, try, do. try, try. Okay, if I wake up late, I am late for work. That's it, correct. Okay. I am late for work. If I wake up late, I am late for work. Very well. That is why I was telling uh, you in the I, I uh, breakout wait. rooms that you have to use I the simple present. Yes. I've been late for work. No, I, I am. I am. I am. Uh -huh, yes, I am late for work. Now, I number am. two. Late for work. I am late for work. Now, Me number teacher. two, please. My son burns the food is he good alone. My Correct. son burns the food if he cooks food. with S, alone. okay? If he cooks alone, yeah? My son burns the food mm -hmm. if he cooks alone. Good. Yeah. Okay. Now number three. Who wants to try number three? Me, teacher. Please. If employees don't eat well, they aren't healthy. That's it. If employees don't if. eat well, they are not healthy. Well, they 
they, they are repeating. not or they okay miss repeat the sentence please okay if employees don't eat well they yeah. are not healthy Don't, don't you okay you. who would like to try number four who wants to try sentence number four uh, me teacher okay please freddy when she pays her bill on time she has not to pay extra okay when if you notice you have to add an n okay when she pays her bills on time, she does not, or she doesn't have, she doesn't okay? She doesn't have to pay extra money. She doesn't have okay. to pay extra money. She doesn't have, she doesn't have to. Okay, who wants to try number five? Teacher, one question. Yes, miss. In, in this case, um, the very help is not a auxiliary alone. No, because remember that we are using the simple present. And what is the auxiliary for your simple present? When you don't have the verb to be, do or does. Do or does. Yeah. Do or does. Yes. I think, I think the verb have uh, is a long auxiliary, but in present perfect tense. Oh, okay. My okay. God. Okay. okay. Now, I think my pleasure. Number five, who wants to try number five? And no. If they call B, good and B, right? I want. Okay. Would you speak aloud? Would you read aloud the sentence? Caroline. What? Uh, if they come, be good, I am below. No. Continue. Let's see. And I'm resting about. Thank you, Carol. Listen, if the incomes, the Are. verb is incomes. B. Yeah, mm -hmm. the base B. form mm -hmm. is B. <clears throat> so, because the incomes is plural, in present tense, we say R. R. The incomes are mm. good. R. An employee receives. Receives because it is only one employee only one. in the sentence. An employee receives a bonus. Yeah. If the, uh, if the, in, if the incomes are good, if the incomes I, are. Teacher, the, the word receive, uh, is yes. with, receives. Yeah, yeah, receives because the subject is an employee which is a third person singular, yes? Huh? So we say receives with S. Oh, okay, okay, receives a bonus. Understand. Great. And who wants to try number six? Hello? Who would please? like to try? Okay, please. We sell more products when we know the customer's need. We That's it. We sell more products when we know the customer's needs. And obviously that is that is one of the of the ideas for the mm -hmm. business people, right? Okay. Teacher, yes, I, have, I have a question. I'm sorry. Yes, yes Caroline. Caroline, did you have a question? No, no, eh, creo que fue este, no sé. Yo, pero yo no. <risa> Mi teacher. <risa> ah, Yolanda. Eh, no, no, teacher, es, es Ana Claudia, al fin. Ok, Ana Claudia. But someone else also have, yeah. 
has a question. Okay, I, I just want to ask you, and I want to be, I want to better understand. If these are the zero, zero what? Zero conditional. Zero, zero, zero conditional. conditional. Okay. Mm -hmm. When I use the if, we are using if right now in present, right? Yes. Okay. So if the sentence start with the if, uh, I use a comma in the middle before the cons consequence, as, as far yeah, as I understand. Yeah, okay. Yes. But I can answer also affirming what is going to happen. And if I use the if in the middle, I don't use a comma. That's okay. it. Now, when, when I use when in present, I'm not clear. Uh, using present at the beginning or in the middle, um, I wasn't clear if I need look, to look at look at this example, the second one. When uh -huh. my family needs a loan, comma. Ah, uh, okay. They go to the bank, and now you have the opposite. My so family goes the to the way. bank. Yeah, uh, that's it. Okay. okay, okay. But that is because they are in present, right? No, it is the structure. But the thing is that today we are using studying uh -huh. zero conditional, but there is. First conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. My goodness. No, this is the first conditional. <laughs> yeah, no, it is the easiest because it is in simple present tense. But okay. it is just the, the naming grammar, but we use ah. the expressions every day. Exactly. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. That's it. So don't be concerned, miss. Okay, okay but this is, uh, <laughs> I just wanted to be clear. Okay, thank you. Thank yeah. you teacher. Okay, my pleasure. <laughs> now you're going to continue using your imagination. Sure. Yes, miss. Teacher, the bear the bear, the final uh, the uh, sentence number six the bear cell is only cell or cells it is cell without s singla s because the okay. subject is plural yes and then we say okay. we sell more products but it's not the know. word cell maybe she got confused with the s a l e s -A -L -E. A ah, e. con la <laughs> no, ah. this is the verb, and the other one is the, the noun. Okay, so now it is the same verb as it is in here. We sell. Okay, now your turn. You're going to get back to <laughs> look at Freddy's at Freddy's face when I say now you have to use your imagination because here the instruction is imagine that the liabilities of your company are very high. So it means that. Everything is excellent, financially talking, in your companies, yes? And your boss asks you and a friend to give ideas to help the company. How would you help your companies? In this case, because they have excellent liabilities and they are asking for some tips in order to improve things in the company, okay? So... Imagine that you were in a meeting at work and you provide some ideas, okay? So here we go. Now I'm going to stop sharing and you go to your breakout rooms, okay? Heidi is having problems. Heidi, in which group was Heidi? In number one, two, or no. three? Number two, I guess. Okay. So here. And now you are in number two, Heidi. Okay. Great. Hello. It's so difficult. <laughs> so <is> difficult. <laughs> no, me. Yes, you're going to you. provide ideas how to improve things in in a company. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you see here what would work could be okay if we have you know high liabilities, everything is fine in the company. So what would happen? What if we, uh, if we, how could I say, if we uh, book some uh, training, some trainings for the employees, yeah? Because the company has money. 
in order to, to pay those trainings for the employees, yes? Or what if uh, we pay overtime higher? El pago del tiempo, del tiempo extra eh, mejor, okay? That would motivate the employees, yes? Because now the liabilities in the company are excellent and they can do it. And they are asking you because you are employees so you have to think about you as a, as a group because you yeah. need okay. think extra motivation probably, yeah, okay? So those are the kind of ideas. It is okay. not a big deal, yeah? Okay. Okay, let's try. One or two ideas. Okay. Okay, maybe. Um, maybe la delay, la delay, no. Ah, no, esa no, no, se, la puede delay, no, no se puede. Eh, no se pueden reduce benefits. Mm -hmm. Reduce benefits. Eh, reduce benefits. Ajá, pero hay bonos que les dan. Por ejemplo, bonos, uh -huh. horas extra, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Aumentos por metas y todo eso. Tendrían que reducirlos. Vaya, pero eso la podemos poner. Why, why reduce them? Why reduce them? ¿Por qué los van a reducir si todos los assets están high? Están buenos, están altos, elevados, están en buen estado. No, pero no dice que son los pasivos los que están altos. Porque dice ahí uh, que imagina. ¿Would you say the liabilities? Yes. But uh, what, what do we understand in the group of liabilities? Pasivo. Yes. Vaya, pero los pasivos son cuando la empresa tiene deudas. Exactamente. Entonces las deudas sí, es. están muy altas. Demasiado. Entonces yo, yo entendí que pregunta que qué podemos hacer para ayudar para a la mí es al revés. Pero no sé si por qué va. Ajá. Ok, give your point, Heidi. Because I was, I was giving a, 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 you know, I was checking it as another perspective. But let's listen to, to Heidi. Heidi. It's that I understand that accounting on banks is, is uh, the vice versa of the normal accounting. So for me to have um, uh, high liabilities, of, uh, liabilities is good. You can, you could invest. And remember uh, one idea. Okay, let's take uh, Karen and Caroline's idea. But okay. you are employees, you are employees. Okay. So you're not going to tell the, 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 the company to reduce benefits mm -hmm. because you're going to be affected. Uh, yes or no? Uh, re uh -huh. re 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 then if you buy a bono <laughs> over time, sí, hay que reduc reduce, reduce staff, reduce benefits, reduce costs and costs. Reducen este... And you are... No, yes, yes, yes. That is what they traditionally do. But mm -hmm. you are going to give another type of ideas in order to benefit employees and the company. Okay. Because if you are giving ideas to affect in a negative way to the employees, you are going to be affected too. Yes, yes or no? Yes. Yes. So yes. the idea here is to look for possible ideas that are going to be okay for employees and for the company, yeah? The uh, shareholders and for the For example, it could be to, to go to the, um, to, to change the hours an hour earlier so we can um como se dice aprovechar take advantage take advantage of the light of the sun and we don't spend that much electricity yeah 
probably another way. Hello, another way. Another way. Um, Recycle paper. Because someone could say uh, to, to fire what, what many companies did last year because of the pandemic, to fire many people. And that is not the best choice, yeah? Great, and then if you like uh, for bonus or uh, overtime y salary. Mi, uh, is if we had a lot of unsold inventory, stop buying more. That would be one. <clears throat> yeah, because they are at risk. That could be a good idea, Karen. Okay. What, what did Karen say? Sorry, Karen. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. if, we, is, if we had a lot of unsold inventory, start buying more. Mm -hmm. Stop buying in, in, in inventory. 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 Sí. If you have a lot. Co the company, the company social impact, the company social impact increase, uh, increase the when socially, socially responsibility. Oh, the company social responsibility. Social responsibility. responsibility. Yeah. Ajá, responsabilidad yeah. social. Yeah. Ah, okay, so the company social responsibility. Ahí queremos poner increase, sería increase, increase. when. Increase and decrease. Ah, ah increase, increase, increase when. Dijimos contrata o hire. Hire. Employees. Hire. Hire. hire employees. No sé si sería decir employees with disability or disability employees. Disability. Be Employees. employees. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So the company social responsibility. Or, or probably. Uh -huh. uh, well, some people use that term, but I don't know if they use it anymore. Handicapped people. Uh -huh. Yes, I yeah. heard, but most of yeah. the time, handicapped people. And that is for yeah. deaf, also for. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or the people in the wheelchair. Yeah. Exactly. Ah, we can use that. Mm -hmm. Okay. The company social responsibility increase, increases. Increase or increases? <laughs> increases. <laughs> when hire I handicap employees, así sería, or handicap people. Handicap people. Uh, it's like a an, an social responsibility, but it's better when the liabilities are higher. Ah, it's, we can, it's more help. It's more? Help. Ayuda más. Yeah, yeah. We can yeah. give more scholarships to students of the, well, to the sons of the, of my colleagues. We can give more scholarships. Uh, and is the, are, no, our son, of the employees or not? Yes, yes. Ah. You have to be fan of one employee if you want to apply to the scholarship. So the company oh. pays the studies of, of the sons of the, of the work, uh, workers. Wow. And we have if we have more money, we can pay to more students the scholarship. Ah, yeah. That is the, como becas. Yeah. Mm. Is that is a, a scholarship, real? Wendy. A scholarship yeah. means becas. Scholarship becas. becas. Mm -hmm. What else? A scholarship. Quiero verte yo. Quiero verte.
What else? Podríamos cortarlos por metas. O sea, si llega a la meta, si se le da el bono, ya no solo porque sí. Reduce viatics. Okay, estaba diciendo de pensar como empleados sí, y como empleados me gustaría que nos redujeran los viáticos I don't think so. no es que le gustaría pero me imagino que eh, también tienen que reducirle trabajo o sea para mm -hmm. ir y toda la Reduce cuestión working hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sería ahí Para usar buen en medio. No, pero ya usamos buen en medio. Usemos al, al principio. When the employees work. No, when the. Em um, what about if the employees. Mm -hmm. uh, no, the company give to the employment uh, good benefits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we can use if or we can use when the starting with when, when the companies, when the company offer offers, offers. Um, offers, yeah, sería offer. Ah, when the company offers. Uh, no, eh. Additional benefits, o sea, when the company offers additional benefits, mm -hmm. the employees are happy. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh. when, when the company mm -hmm. offers Additional o offer o provides. Provide. provide or offers. I don't know. Would you read? Read the sentence. Eh, so when the company, let me read it in both ways. When the company uh -huh. provides additional benefits, the employees are happy or, happy. or when the company offers additional benefits, the employees are happy. Which is both better. would be. Ah, okay. okay. Provides, okay. provides. Provide because offer it sounds like when you are hiring like, somebody. Ah, I okay. offer you, okay. but provide when you are, uh, you say. know, you are an employee. Ah, okay. Are, okay. Okay. So okay. Provide. Just provide. When the company provides additional benefit, the employees. So when the company provides additional benefits, comma, mm -hmm. the employees are mm -hmm. happy. Okay, now we have both when. We are missing just one with if in the middle. If in the middle. Believe it or not, teacher, the, the most curious one here in this team is Freddy. <laughs> oh, no. really? Wow. Yes, wow. he has been giving no. the idea. <laughs> and he was like, no, no. Well, it's your but I was telling to him that he's very creative. <laughs> yeah. No, okay, but we are now. Fixing, fixing the sentence together. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, that is the purpose we need to yeah. fix. It. So okay. you are, you are, you are using uh, your knowledge. It means that mm -hmm. you can do it. You don't have to block yourself. You can mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're missing one with the if in the middle. Mm -hmm. For the gasoline. Yeah. That's great. In Are my you company, ready? They pay cents. Yes. Okay, we're going to discuss and we're going to discuss okay. uh, one more point, but uh, okay. with another group, okay? So here okay. we go. Let's get back to the main session. Thank you.
only your group. Probably the other ones are still discussing. Okay, here we go. Listen, first of all, we're going to clarify something. There is always something positive and something negative in every situation, right? So I was thinking in the positive way, the same as Haiti and, and regarding to the topic that we were discussing, but Karen told us, no, that is not good because she was thinking uh, about the bad situation in which a company uh, might be when they have the liabilities very high because she says that is not good for the company, but it is good for the employees. Yes. And Heidi said, no, but for a bank, it is great because you have money to buy many things, to give loans, yes? And you see that uh, last year, um, to the people who had the banks, so they kept a track and they saw that, okay, this, uh, this employee uh, has a good position and, you know, the stability at work, they were offering money. Yes, yes or no, Wendy? They were offering money because a lot of employees were fired. So that was a nice opportunity for some people, but it was not so good for some other companies and for many employees. So here we have two points, yeah? And uh, Heidi agreed to uh, follow Karen's ideas and Caroline's ideas in the way that they are thinking like the company and the rest of the, of the groups were thinking like employees, yes? Okay, so first of all, we're going to listen to Karen's points and Caroline's points, yes? And later we're going to tell them from the point of view as employees, yeah? Because you see, ah, the company has money, we can get this, this and that, okay? But they are representing the, the companies Accounting department, yes, okay. Uh, I would okay. like to, to listen to Karen first. Okay. Uh, first, reduce cost and expenses. Two, uh, stop buying inventory. Three, change work hours. Four, reduction of working days or working hours. Five, reduction viatics. <laughs> Six stock hiring, seven stock making loans and evaluate payments, priority payments, a increasing capital through through sell of share shares. Okay, the shares for the stockholders, right? So uh, they worked on that because for the company it's not good to have the liability is very high because what is good for a company is to have the liabilities working and producing. Yes or no, Ms. Karen? Yes. Yeah, that's the point. Yes. But on the, on the employees point of view, you see, ah, they have money, they can do this, this, it is the time to get what they never have given to the employees. Now we're going to listen to the other points of view, okay? So let's okay. listen to Ana Claudia's group and then Karen is going to say, okay, Ana Claudia's group. Me, teacher. Uh, okay, please, uh, Fatima. Number one. Yeah. If, with, if 
we develop a new product, sell more. We increase in sales. Yes. Number two, the company social responsibility increase when the hard handicapped people. Number three, when the company provide additional benefit the employees that are happy. Number four, the employees get a bonus if we grace to sell ourselves. That's it. That's it. Thank you very much. Now, Melissa's group. Who's going to read in Melissa's group? Hello? I think me. Okay. Okay. So um, they can increase salary, also increase the cost for overtime, they pay trainings for the employees, pay extra bonus for their results. This more than when it's at the end of the year. Um, restore common areas in the surrounding colonies, uh, give free days, uh, pay for a scholarship for the children of the employees, <laughs> pay the loans, and in my case, at the end of the year, if the result is good, they, they give us a free turkey and wine for all the workers. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's great, Miss. And then and, uh, Karen would say, and Caroline, yeah, but the companies will go to the bankruptcy. Yes? A la quiebra. <laughs> okay. So you see, we have two different points because we as employees have a different perspective, yes? Than from the other point of view that they need to invest in, they need that money to be producing, yeah? Not only for the benefits, yeah? Okay, so thank you for sharing and discussing, okay? And uh, there was something good that in, in one group, they were uh, discussing about the social responsibilities of the companies, yes? That is cool because remember that it is like a commitment for each company, right? Okay, great. And now we're going to go over the next exercise. And here, what are we going to be doing at this moment? Well, right now, here we go. We're going to discuss the uh, the following, do you issue purchase orders? What is the first piece of information you need in order to purchase orders? What else do you need after that? In order to discuss those questions, we are going to read the following purchase orders information of a company. We're going to work in a small groups. We're going to read this purchase orders information of a company. And based on that, we're going to answer these two questions, which are how many items are they buying? Okay, how much is the total price? So you see the details and then you answer the questions. Do you have any comment, any uh, question about the exercise? Okay, let's go over. Cesar, your group is number two. Cesar, go to group number two, please. Okay. Somebody wants to read the purchase order. Yeah. The answer. Uh, Number. Vamos a hacer el tres, ¿verdad? 
Yeah. I think it there are there two two items. Two items. Two items. Yeah. How, is, how many items are they buying? Yeah, I think two. Four hundred fifteen. Four hundred fifteen. In twenty cents. Solo dos preguntas son. ¿Sí? La peleamos. Ok. Eh, ¿Una por uno? Sí, pues sí. Ok. Builder MD Management. No. ¿Cómo se lee eso? Management Technology. Ok. Builder MD Management Technology. Date. Eh, one September. Así es, ¿verdad? O 9 de enero. January 9th. January 9th. Ok. January. 9th. 9th. 2017. 2017. Job number 8H00011. Order date. January 9, 2017. Vendor Bridgestone Building Materials. Um, decirlo como crees que, que es te puso nerviosa que está la teacher no no, no mentira let's teacher. Try, Fátima. ajá let's, let's try, try. Let's, try. <laughs> let's see six thousand twenty seven twenty five hola 255, ¿verdad? 255 mm -hmm. with 20 cents. Sentence. Sentence. 20 cents. 20 cents. Mm -hmm. uh, the work has been completed to, to the terms and conditions stated in our, in our contract. Mm -hmm. Company Bridgestone Building materials finish okay quien va ahora una nita cállate builder no ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo me dice? ¿Quién habló? Caroline. Nadie. Decía algo. No, nada. Ah. Nada. ¿Qué leí? Okay. ¿Lees tú o leo, leo yo? Vaya, lea usted. Vaya. Builder Empty Management Technology. Date, um, January 9th, 217. Job number AH. 0011 order date January 9th 217 purchase order a H 00020015 vendor Bridgetown building materials 35210 North Highway 24 Denver Colorado 8224 job address 1010 Deer Trail Lakewood Colorado 80 229. Please supply the following item, item description. Um, 18888 00, 000 frame materials, first floor, 
quantity one, unit one, price to 155 with 20 cents, total 255 and 20 cents. Item one eighty eight eighty eight zero zero one o one frame materials first floor quantity one unit one price six thousand one hundred and sixty total six thousand one hundred and sixty the work has been complete to the terms and conditions stated in our contract next order net order six thousand four hundred fifteen tax zero and total order. 6,415 and 20 cents. Company bridge town buildings materials date builder and date. Ya está, tu turno. ¿Quién va ahora, Lore o Caroline? Caroline. Ahorita. Uh, builder AT Manager Technology, day one, nine, one, two, zero, uh, seven. Your number IIH zero, 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 uh, um, eleven, eleven, order day one, nine, two, uh, seventeen. Port or at H zero 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 twenty. The net order. The work has been completed. Below. The, the, the term and condition state in our contract. Mm -hmm. Net order. Mm -hmm. I don't know what does it mean. Next order. No, 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 the quantity. A, ah, la, la orden neta. No, uh, para la net, cantidad. Ah, net, net order. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I look around next order. <laughs> <laughs> no, net. Is because you are in the mobile. <laughs> next, you need to magnify. Net, net order is 6,415 6, dollars. Mm -hmm. 415. Well, 415. 415. Taxes 0.0. Total order is 6,415. 20 cents. 415 dollars? 20 cents. 20 cents. Okay. 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 And Fatima? Wanna read? Hello. Mm -hmm. The price beside to the uh, first item. Okay. Please supply the following item description. Frame material. First floor. Mm -hmm. First floor, huh? Kit, no. No, quantity. Quantity one unit, unit one. first one mm -hmm. price. To hold two thousand. No, I guess two hundred and fifty five. Twenty dollars. Read it back. Uh huh. Total sería. Under fifteen, 
Are you ready, girls? Yes. Because in the other groups, they are still reading and discussing. But anyways, it's time to get back to the main session room, OK? OK. So let's get back on this group. Okay, here we go. And after reading and analyzing the purchase order, here we go. Question number one, I need one volunteer and you, the rest of the class says if we agree, partially agree or disagree with the answer. How many items are they buying? How many items? Hello? Possible answers? Two items. Okay, class, do you agree? Partially agree or disagree? Agree. Okay. Agree. Great. Now, question number two. How much is the total price? Who would like to say that answer? Hello? Hey, me, teacher. Please? The total price is Six thousand four hundred fifteen dollar twenty cent. Do you agree? Partially agree or disagree? Agree, teacher. Agree. Okay, agree. two thumbs up. Very good, Freddy. Thank you. Very well. Okay. Yeah. Now let's see. Uh, Karen. Hello, Karen. Yes. Okay. Uh, we have a, an appointment today, Karen. Okay, from 10 to 10, 10. Okay. So here we go. We're going to start the, the wrap up of the class because I need you to create one sentence using the zero conditional, yes? And you say it, so you can say if, or you can say it with when, okay? When you are ready, you tell me. That is the wrapping up because we have been discussing that topic, okay? I, 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 I can try. When I sleep eight hours a day, my day goes very well. <laughs> okay, or I am more productive. Yes? Oh, I am more, uh -huh. Very okay. well, okay, that's <laughs> okay. good, excellent. Somebody else? Mine is similar than the sentence of Ana Claudia. If I, if I go to bed right now, I'm, I, am, I am resting eight hours. If I go to bed right now, I rest eight hours. Okay? I rest eight present hours. Present and present. Okay, good. Thank you. Another one? Me, teacher. Yes, please, Miss Yolanda. If I go to bed early, I wake up at five o'clock at the morning. In the morning with no problem, yeah? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> listen, I don't know why, but you are in We're the thinking mood of going sleepy. to bed. <laughs> <laughs> and besides today is uh, Thursday, okay? Uh, somebody else? Come on, come on. Tell us the sentence. Hello? Karen, you want to tell me the sentence? Pero no entendí sobre qué. It is using the zero conditional, if. Mm. Okay. If uh -huh. I work um, Friday in the afternoon, um, I don't work Saturday. 
that good. Great, if she works Friday afternoon, she doesn't work Saturday. Nice, yes. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Cesar, Teacher, do you have me? your sentence? Okay, Wendy. If I drink, I drink water. A water, I am a healthy. If I drink water, I am healthy. Yes. If I drink water, I am healthy. Very good. Cesar, do you have any sentence? Teacher, I'm sorry, I can't. Ah, you are driving. Because yeah. I am driving. Okay. Thank <laughs> you so much. I, I appreciate. Okay. Keep connected but because. Okay, in one minute, I'm going to, to call the attendance, okay? I'm going to say your names for the attendance. Uh, Fredis, do you have your sentence, Lorena? Uh, I think. Okay, I think please, so. please, please. If, if I participate in class, I improve my English. Great, very good, excellent sentence. An excellent idea. Lorena, do you have your sentence? Fatima, do you have a sentence? Caroline, your sentence? Me teacher. Okay. If I drink coffee, I am happy. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Lauren and Caroline, do you have your sentences? I got my sentence, miss. Uh, hey, Heidi, okay, go ahead. If I study hard, I get good grades. Excellent. <laughs> yes, Caroline, Lorena, or no, you don't have the sentences yet. Okay, Caroline. Mm, no, no, no center. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Lauren, not yet. Okay, uh, let's see. Ada is not here. Ana Claudia? Here, teacher. Andres, not here. Uh, Cesar, Cesar, say hello. Cesar Humberto. Cesar. Uh, present, sorry, sorry. Okay, thank you so much. Fatima. Thank you. Present, present teacher. Okay, Francisca is not here. Freddy is. Present teacher. Heidi. Here, Miss. Hugo. Karen. Present. Liliana Melissa. Present. Lorena Cigarán. Present teacher. María Milagros, no. Mauricio, no. Patricia Yanet. Sandra Carolina. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, hello. Verónica. Verónica. Uh, Wendy. Wendy. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hi. Sorry, Yolanda. Me, teacher. Okay. Thank you very much, people. I really appreciate your attendance to the class. I hope to see you tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow is the last day of classes. Don't skip classes tomorrow. No falten a clase mañana. Tienen tiempo todavía para actualizar la plataforma, ¿verdad? Recuerden, you have to submit the final test. Tienen que tomar el test final y tratar de completar todos los ejercicios, ¿de acuerdo? Y mañana tenemos clase, los minutos cuentan, la asistencia cuenta para la próxima beca, ¿verdad? Y thank you for joining, bye bye, have a good night. Only Karen stays with me, ¿ok? Good God night. bless you, hope to good see night. you tomorrow. Bye bye, bye. God bless bye. you, bye, bye. take night, care, everybody. bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Mm. No entraría a otra sesión, ¿verdad, Tisha? No, aquí mismo. Bye. Bye, okay. bye. Take care. Bye, Fredis. Bye, Cesar. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow, Cesar. Okay. Let's see. Uh, you were saying that uh, about the situation with the zero conditional, right? Vamos a revisar un poquito el conditional, uh, el zero conditional. And, okay. Okay. So you can have a clearer understanding. So in the manual, we have been working with this, okay? The zero condition. You have two possibilities. One of them is if, and the other one is with the word when. Look at this. If we have lower sets, we have to even up 
prices, yes? That's what you would say as an advice because you are an accountant, yes? Yes. And we have to even up prices if we have low assets. If you notice, it is the same sentence, the same meaning, but we switch the order, pero le intercambiamos el orden. ¿Qué pasa aquí? Cuando la oración comienza con if, le insertamos una coma. ¿Sí? Okay. A la, antes de la segunda parte de la oración. Pero si la oración no comienza con if, sino que va en medio, if, al centro, no lleva la coma. ¿Sí? Vale, Entonces, corrido. sí, porque decimos, if we have low assets, si tenemos los assets bajos, hasta ahí, ¿qué pasa? Es una oración incompleta, ¿verdad? Por lo tanto, necesitamos un complemento. But if you switch the order, we say, we have to even up prices. Tenemos que subir los precios. That is a complete sentence. And then we have the independent sentence, the dependent sentence at the end. We have, if we have low assets. Entonces, cuando la oración comienza con if, you write a comma before the second part, yes? Now, with when, it is kind of similar because it shows a condition. When the sentence begins with when, we write a comma in here. But if you want to switch it, but the same meaning, then you don't write the comma. Because in this case, the example is, when my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. The other order, when you switch the order, Yes, the same. My family goes to the bank when they need a loan. That's why at the beginning, I asked them to write some sentences. To complete some uh, sentences, for example, if I smoke, I will get sick. Yes or no? Pero como no estamos usando yes. futuro, sino que si usted se fija aquí, tenemos que usar presente y presente. If I smoke, I get sick. Si fumo, me enfermo. Yes or no? So that is the other characteristic. Yes. If you notice here, simple present and simple present. And that is what you were practicing here. If I wake up late, I am late for work. Present and present in both. If we use if, if we use when, right? Some of your partners were saying, uh, if I mix water with electricity, I will and I said, okay, remember that for the zero conditional, you have to use simple present and simple present, and there is no problem, okay? So that is the idea when we practice uh, the English language using the zero condition, okay? Now, do you have questions about this? Sí, el, el sí es condicional, solo se puede usar en simple presente. In the zero conditional, yes. Okay, here we go. I'm going to... O sea, to... no lo puedo usar en otro tiempo. No. That is a rule. For the zero conditional, porque hay otros condicionales, como les decía a los, a los compañeros, por ejemplo, uh, condition, first conditional, second conditional, y ahí es otra estructura. Okay? So, here we go. Uh, okay. Let's see. If I save money, okay, uh, during the year or along the year, along the year, durante el año, ¿verdad? Along the year, yeah. along the year, I, I, if I save money along the year, I get, uh, I get, um, We, I is with capital letter. I get more. Uh, get is, es ir, no? Lograr conseguir obtener. Get. Get, lograr conseguir obtener. Okay. I get more money from the bank. Yes. But here I have okay. a comma. When, when I 
eat an apple a day. When I eat an apple a day, I keep doctor away. Mm -hmm. Si me como una manzana al día, no visito al médico. In other words, I keep healthy. Yes. This is with if and when. And here I wrote the comma. I inserted the comma. Do you notice? Yes. Okay. But if we write, uh, I travel, I travel at the end of the year if I save money. Okay, no comma here. I travel at the end of the year if I save money. No comma, why? Because I have if in the otro año, si Viajo, uh, uh, yo viajo a final del año si ahorro dinero. Si ahorro. Yeah, if I don't save money, I don't travel oh, okay. because I don't have money. Okay, but I want you to notice that here, uh, the if sentence is in the middle. That's why I didn't write a comma. Yes? Okay, okay. And the same case is with when. I say, I keep doctor away when I eat an apple a day. Yes? No le escribo coma, sí? Yes. No comienzo con when, okay? It is the same case for both. And this is known as the zero conditional. Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. all's, all's under, I don't understand much when I should use this so or such. In ah, a so and such. Okay, so. Is it such more for? Yes. Okay, they are emphasizers. And we say, in order to make an emphasis, you use so. Uh, you are so intelligent. You are so intelligent. Eres tan inteligente, right? And then if I say, right. you, you are such an intelligent girl. Yeah. You are such an intelligent girl. Eres una chica tan inteligente. Okay. En la primera sería muy inteligente, ¿verdad? Sí, you are so intelligent, eres muy inteligente o eres tan inteligente. Okay, and then, but here when we use such, immediately you have to use a or an. I wrote, you are such an sí, intelligent sí. girl. Or he is such a tall boy. Yes. Okay. Él es un chico. Such es más fuerte. Muy, muy alto, alto, tall, tall. Tall, alto. No, no, no. Me refiero a si es ah. da más énfasis que el so. No, they are used in the, in the same, at the same level. So and such a oh, okay. or such an. Uh -huh. And this is, it, it is in order to make an emphasis Siempre. on what you are expressing. Mm -hmm. Okay. No siempre such va seguido de a, ¿verdad? De no. a o a. Como no, siempre. Because in here, if you notice, okay, you are so intelligent, but here such an intelligent, you mention the adjective and a noun, but when we uh, use so, you don't write a noun. Okay, I'm going to raise this, this part. I'm going to stop presenting this and let's see. We're going to review what we have in the in the manual. So you can have a better understanding with those sentences that we studied uh, the day before yesterday, I think. Yes. Here. 
it is so necessary for the company, yeah? And then it is such a creative program. You have such a adjective and noun. It is such a significant investment. Such a, the indefinite article, adjective and the noun that it is, it is modifying. It is such a significant investment, yes? The report was, oh, in okay, also okay. in past days, was such a useful, useful tool before. Adjective mm -hmm. and noun, yes? But here, when you use so, no, the projects were so well made. So, and the adjective. Our ideas were so imaginary. Yeah, it is so important to yeah. check in here a verb. So you need to pay attention that when we use such, you have to use a or an after such, okay? Okay. And here we say, it is good to know the cash flow. They are so important. So. So, but here so in number two, they are giving you the tip A. The architect is such a creative woman. We have to use creative this. woman. Okay. Yeah, such because they are giving you in the sentence the word a uh, or a. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I yeah. hope to see you That's tomorrow. Cool. Okay. Have a good night. Okay. Sleep well. Thank you. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. God bless you. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, the last day. Don't forget to continue okay. working in the platform. Okay. Bye. Okay. Good night. Have a good night. Bye bye, Miss.